This ring is designed by accident. Sounds funny, but it's true. It was a project that gave me a lot of uh, resistance, but we persevered and this is the end result. Here is some 800 silver. It's a leftover from a project I did a few years ago. I sand down the backside for two reasons. One, so I can draw my design on it. And the second reason is it will give a nice solder joint for the back plate. After halving that piece of metal, I inscribe my design. I only have to do this on one side because once I saw everything and bring it up to dimensions, then I can use a little bit of super glue, use the original piece to make an exact copy. Now this requires some sawing and some filing. Once we have roughly the same dimensions, it's time to separate and I do that by applying a flame. Make sure you do this in a well ventilated area. So after creating a few more smaller pieces, it was time to solder. And that's when the treble showed up. So at first I soldered one piece and that went okay. Then I tried soldering three pieces at once and things started to move on me. So I ended up with quite a big gap. I tried to fix it by heating and sliding, but that didn't work. So eventually I cut out the back plate and closed the gap like this. Now this resulted in a nice seam that I managed to solder badly, as you will see in the next step. It became clear that this material was very stiff. Uh, hammering almost had no effect and only after a few blows my solder joint cracked. I opted for the quick solution, which was just heat it up and hope that everything turned out fine. Guess what? It didn't. The seam wasn't closed and there was solder everywhere. Eventually everything got cleaned up with a saw. I wanted to strengthen that seam a little bit more and I did that by adding this plate. There will be a little pool of solder behind this plate. When we heat everything from the top, that solder will melt, rise through the seam and then form a strong joint. I switched from hammering to two parallel pliers. Using a piece of leather will protect the texture. Bending was too much for this section, so I had to solder it again. For once, luck was on my side, because hammering did a great job. The material is very stiff, so it stayed into the form. However, that luck didn't last long, because I made another weak solder joint. And another one. And another one. So I finally realized that I should use a reinforcement plate. Even with the reinforcements, it was still tricky to get the ring rounded. Eventually I got to this stage. A nice rounded ring. I plan to do some extra work on the sides, but now I'm unsure if that would make it better. In the end, I decided to go for this form, so I finished up the ring and called it a day. And there you have it, a ring that was designed by accident. So at the end of the stream, one of the viewers suggested, let's have a look under the microscope. And with those images, I would like to say, Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time.